Have you ever seen the movie The Secret? I'm curious, what did you think about it? Love to hear it in the comments below. But that movie, if you haven't seen it, it teaches people how to manifest their dreams. But there's only one or two problems with it. They don't tell you a couple things in there that actually helps you manifest, or more importantly, what stops manifestation, that law of attraction. My name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design, and today's video is how to manifest your dreams and what stops the law of attraction, like the movie The Secret. Okay, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, the law of attraction, right? First, it's a law, right? So it's like the law of gravity. You don't have to believe in this law. I'm not sitting here telling you what to do. I'm just some guy on YouTube, just trying to help people out, you know, create the life that they want, you know, master their life by design. But it's just like the law of gravity. You don't have to believe in gravity, but if you jump out of a 10 story building, you're going kaboom, kasplat, right? And so it's a law. So whether you believe it or not, it doesn't matter what your beliefs are. It's there, it's a law. So the law of attraction, and I'm gonna give you guys a high overview today, but the law of attraction is simple. It's what you think about, what you feel, that frequency, what you're constantly focused on, you start to attract. But I'm gonna go in a little bit deeper, and I don't know how deep I'm gonna go because I'm just going with it, but I've been doing this a lot with clients and it's been opening up their worlds, and so, anyway, we're gonna jump in. But let me just say something about the movie. <clears throat> The movie is awesome. If you haven't seen it, it's great. And it really gets your brain turning. And what I love is it opens up a new world, a new paradigm. In fact, my wife used to be so scared all the time. She used to be afraid to go from her car into the house or the house to the car at night. Um, her mom and I think her mom and her got held up at gunpoint one time. Her mom was on the bridge in San Francisco when it fell apart or it broke or I don't know. I forget what the story was. But needless to say, she was a super scaredy cat. She's pessimistic or she was. And some lady at, told her to watch the movie The Secret every day for 30 days straight. And she did. And it started to shift the way she thought about things and what was happening in their life. Have you ever noticed that when people who are successful, like and they got great things happening, like it just keeps coming. But then those of you that are in challenging situations, it's like the rain parade never stops. The shit sandwiches never stop coming your way. Well, <clears throat> Why is that? What's there? What's going on there? So the law of attraction is really based upon your energy, right? We all, if you, I'll put it like this. Some people may disagree, but could we all agree that we are all energy, right? We're all energy. And since we're all energy, every, all energy has a certain frequency or vibration, right? Our, in different parts of our body. We also have this electromagnetic field. By the way, if you don't believe it, go ahead and look it up in science. We can measure it. We can measure the frequency of my desk right here, right? So we can measure the frequency of anything pretty much. And so with that, it's all about your frequency. And so depending on what you desire, it might be at a higher frequency than where you are. And so if we think about it and we feel good, see the movie gives a great depiction of when you feel good because it sends a ring, like this aura of energy out to the universe. And it's like, it's signaling what you want. <clears throat> so I love that about the movie. But here's the deal. It, and I love that because it's actually what you need is you gotta be in a great frequency, great vibration so that you can attract what you want. So how you manifest things is you align your frequency, your vibration by feeling good and visualizing because again the brain the unconscious mind that controls 90 to 99 percent of us depending on which study you you read but our unconscious mind starts to well can't tell the difference between whether you're actually closing your eyes and playing that mental rehearsal that's what we call it mental rehearsal and our in my master's program in sports psychology or we call it visualization right <clears throat> you can't tell whether it's actually happening in real life or if you're closing your eyes and visualizing it. And so that the unconscious mind plays that out. But when you're visualizing those things, you start feeling that energy or that excitement through your body. That's how you get in alignment. So if you're going to attract something, you want to think and visualize, but more importantly, you want to feel that way. Okay. So pretty simple there. Now, what stops the law of attraction? What stops you from manifesting your dreams? Because it's not just enough to know what to do. You, there's things that stop it. <clears throat> 
the thing that the movie The Secret doesn't tell you that's really important is you have to take action. Most people think I'm just gonna sit here, I'm gonna visualize, I'm gonna feel great every day, and I'm gonna sit on my butt. No, you can't do that. You can't do that. You have to take action. In the movie, in the book, it doesn't tell you. But I highly encourage you to watch the movie. I'll put a link in the description below for the movie and the book for you to check it out. The movie's awesome. The book allows you to go at your own pace, really digest it. You pick what's best for you. I recommend both. All right, so whatever you wanna do, they're cheap, like 15 bucks for the book and like $5 to buy or rent the movie. It's worth it. Do yourself that favor. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> just stepping in here. So what stops manifestation? What stops manifestation or what stops the law of attraction from actually working for you? Because I hold a belief and if you're going to be living in the manifestation world, the law of attraction world, you must hold a belief that the universe or God is always for you they're always trying they, they want god or the universe wants to give you everything that you want but the only problem is we're the problem this is the problem and what we feel is the problem so i'll say it like this with a lot of my clients i share you cannot have the law of attraction working for you you can't manifest what you want if you have baggage in an area or areas of your life Right, you're not, have you ever heard the term, you know, don't go into a new relationship with all that baggage or they got baggage coming into this relationship. It's because of the old limitations that they have. I like to call baggage, also baggage is also known as resistance. So it's like driving a car. If you're dry, you're in your vehicle and you're like, I'm going after my dreams, but you have resistance. The resistance is like pushing on the brake and the gas at the same time. And so depending on how much resistance you have determines how much or how quickly you're gonna to get to your dreams or goals. And for most people, they have resistance to what they want. Now, what does resistance really mean? Resistance is anything that is not in alignment with what you ultimately want. So <clears throat> let me think about how I can explain this a little bit better. So with that, the resistance that you have comes in your emotions. Your emotions are just signals to help you manifest or create or use the law of attraction to your favor. Right, And so it's about really having those feelings. And if you have doubt, worry, fear, um, contemplation, right, like all those types of emotions is just resistance. And your resistance keeps you out of alignment towards what you really want, the new house, the new car, the new job, the freedom, the, the deal getting closed, right? Now people will sit there and they'll say, well, Joe, <clears throat> I feel really great about my investments and then in the stock market and I you know I feel really good I'm I'm thinking great thoughts right I put my money in I took action well it's going down what's going on why is my portfolio losing money this law of attraction stuff doesn't work there's also there's many laws out there right just like there's not one law like okay the laws don't speed like there's also laws like don't hurt people, don't kill people, right? There's so many different laws. Well, there's a law of called cycles and rhythms that you wanna be able to utilize, understand and utilize. So the stock market situation is just a cycle and rhythm, right? Like the real estate market changes every so often, the uh, stock market changes all, always so often. It's a cycle, right? These things are cyclical. And so they're two different laws. It's You're not operating with the law of attraction when you're doing like something like the stock market. You're operating under the law of cycles and rhythms. And if you don't understand that, you can lose a lot of money, right? And so anyway, going back to the law of attraction, you got to watch the resistance that you have. So when clients come to me and they're like, oh, I want to get this deal but they're like oh, I don't know if they're gonna want to be able to if they're gonna do it if they'll accept my offer at this or that I'm like you're out of alignment there's no way that deals moving forward right if you're not in alignment with that most people they want more money in their relationship or in their in their future right and so but what they focus on is how much you know little or lack of money that they have and therefore their focus is there they feel like crap and so they're like oh i don't want this anymore and it's the, everything that they don't want is resistance to what they do want so so many people are focused on what they don't want versus what they do want for years I, I, and if anyone that knows me you can ask anyone for years especially those that are close to me i was so focused on what i could lose over here than what i could gain over here <clears throat> and i will tell you when i started shifting from here 
to here, all of a sudden the game changed. It was like all of a sudden I had this freedom about me. I was living more in that abundant state and not that scarcity state. It was like the doors started opening, opportunities started opening. And so there's things in your life, I'm sure, that you don't want, that you're resisting. Maybe you're resisting your job. I'm not saying quit your job. I'm just saying if you don't like your job and you want something better, stop telling yourself, God, the universe, how much you dislike your job. Start appreciating your job. Start appreciating that there's other opportunities out there. Maybe you're not qualified, but maybe there's a way you can start to learn. Maybe there's a school or certificate that you could be in. When you start to be grateful and have that gratitude, you start to bring the walls of resistance down. And now you start working with the law of attraction. Now you start to manifest dreams like, oh my goodness, I just had this come, this email come up. It says, I just got a check for 20 grand. I'm just playing. That didn't happen. I just trying to make light of an email because I didn't hit the stop button on my sound. But anyway, so you got to work with it. It brings the walls down. It allows you to create or attract or manifest your dreams. So think about an area of your life that you really want something or to create something in your life. And you got to ask yourself, how do I truly feel about that? Does it feel, I always ask my clients this, does it feel heavy or does it feel really light and liberating and free? If you do things that make you feel heavy towards the pursuit of what you're ultimately after, that goal, destination, dream, or outcome, you are going to, it's like hitting the brake on the car as you're pressing on the gas. You may be going forward, but you'll be going at a snail pace, if at all. So you want to make sure that feels light. And how you do that is you start changing the way you think because the way that you think is what actually stops you. If you want to attract or manifest what you want and work with the law of attraction versus stopping the law of attraction and manifestation with you, what you want to do is you want to get into alignment. And you do that by getting into this state in your feeling, in your full-time job. I was just telling a client this the other day. Your full-time job is to feel great about what it is that you're pursuing, you're creating, or what you want to manifest or attract into your life. When you your whole job is feeling great about that, staying in alignment, then the game, then it happens. Things start to manifest in your life. So two things come up. <clears throat> One is called lag time. Tony Robbins talks about this. This is great because so many people think, oh my gosh, I'm going to go create, you know, more, 20 grand more in my life. Okay, awesome. They feel great, right? And then after like a month, six weeks, eight weeks, nothing comes. Well, why is that? You got to check in. One, are you truly in alignment? Or two, is it just lag time? Lag time meaning that there's a delay. You make a decision and there's a delay. It's like a cruise ship going forward. It may decide, hey, turn the wheel right. We're going to go right. The rudder turns, but the ship keeps going straight. And after a while, the momentum starts to shift because the momentum was taken in this direction for so long, right? So lag time is great too because it's not like you, you eat a cheeseburger and have a milkshake and boom, you're fat. Right, and then on the other side, it's not like you eat a salad and boom, you're ripped. I I was gonna take my shirt off, but I'm not. I didn't eat a salad today. Um, <laughs> so anyway, with that being said, lag time's important. So you gotta understand, you gotta release your expectations in order to create or manifest. The other thing is the way I like to think of it, and I'll share this when I talk about creating your ultimate partner and attracting them is, if your client, it's like a radio, your your um, your ideal partner, they're operating at a frequency 102.1 on the radio. But right now you're at 98.8. It's not until you start working on yourself to elevate your vibration, your frequency to that 102.1, and then you can hear that beautiful music, that beautiful song. Otherwise it's just static till then. When you're in that frequency and you're in alignment, it's like boom. There's a great um, <clears throat> company out there called HeartMath, HeartMath.com, and they do they log, they actually have people linked up to an uh, EEG and then an EKG, their head and their heart, and they start measuring frequencies and states. And when you're in like a frustrated state, the frequencies are two; they're just all over the place. But when you're in a state of gratitude or love, you can see the frequency of the brain on the EEG and the EKG of the heart. All of a sudden, it's like they're in perfect alignment almost. And that's when you get out of your head and into your heart. And in that space, you can actually be in alignment to go create what you want. 
So if you're gonna create what you want, you have to not only think about it, visualize it, but more importantly, feel it. Your full-time job is to feel that. How would you walk if you were a millionaire? How would you talk if you were a billionaire? How would you lift weights as a billionaire? How would you drive as a millionaire, right? How would you drive as a married person instead of being single? How would you walk down the street if you were married? How would you handle interactions if you were married? Start acting that, feeling that. So you put out that energy to align with that frequency. But not only that, that's like pushing on the gas, which is great, but you gotta make sure, is your foot on the brake? Is there resistance there? You have to shift your, your frame of mind on that resistance. You have to shift out of that. And how you do that, it's really simple. You start to shift on thinking about how it would feel in the future and imagining that, getting that feeling, that sense of emotion about it and live there. Because as soon as you do that, all that resistance goes away. And all of a sudden it's like two feet go on the gas instead of one on the gas and one on the brake. So that's what you wanna to start to focus on. That's gonna be your full-time job. Look, I know that when, in the beginning, when I first heard this stuff, I had to watch it over and over and over and the secret was great. You may need to watch this video over and over and over again so you get a good idea of what I'm talking about around the resistance. And maybe we'll go a little bit deeper or maybe one day I'll even put a coaching call up here with a client on how I do that. But we wanna make sure that if you're gonna create something in your life, you now have the process. You just gotta work on the awareness because awareness is the first thing that you need to create any change in your life, in your business, in your relationship, your health, whatever it is. So with that, many of you, you have so much resistance in your life, you're unaware of it. And that's why having a coach like myself or my wife or one of our amazing coaches on our team here at Messer Life by Design can help you be aware of those things and help you shift and break through so that you can speed up, right? Because we can get money back. Money's not a big deal time, you can never get back. You're 21 once, you're 30 once, you're 40 once, you're 50 once. You only get one shot. So go in the description below and fill out that one-on-one -on -one coaching application so we can talk with you on how do we help you break through, not only just attract what you want, but eliminate the resistance and have the awareness of where resistance is that's stopping you because you're unaware and you think, let me just keep pounding ahead and that doesn't work. It's not until I've had many coaches in my life that help point out these resistant spots for me that I was able to break through and then it was like an avalanche of abundance flow to me. Now, it takes some time depending on what you're looking to manifest, but a cup of coffee, $5 a cup of coffee is easier to manifest and to attract into your life than it is a $5 million check. Yeah, it might take a little bit longer, right? So be careful of your expectations. So with that, fill out that application below. Give this video a thumbs up button. Also hit that subscribe button. Actually go ahead and turn the notifications on there too so you can get those alerts. We're putting out three or more videos a week, definitely three in the areas of relationship, business finance, personal development. But I'm also gonna start doing some live videos so that you guys can jump on and ask any questions or I can just share some free thoughts. And then even doing some interviews with some of the top performers and high performers. And I might even interview some of my clients and their breakthroughs that they've had over the years. So anyway, stay tuned with that hit that subscribe button i'd love to hear your comments below maybe you think the law of attraction is completely bs maybe you're having challenges with it or maybe you just don't completely understand and you want to ask a question i want to get back to you let me know fill me in and we can get back to you as soon as we as soon as possible so with that hope you guys have a great day enjoy my name is joe moffitt with master life by design see you